Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the AOKP Alpha ROM build 32 on the Samsung Epic 4G. That's the one with a keyboard. But anyways, let's go ahead and check it on out. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. If you would like to uh, check that out or need help installing, I will link to it in the description of the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So here it is, the AOKP uh, ROM. It is supposed to emulate stock ice cream sandwich, be as close to stock as possible with some added tweaks. Right away, you get two launcher options. You get the stock launcher and Nova launcher. Nova launcher actually gives you a little more options, transition animations. As you can see right there, you got a transition animation. Um, just little uh, other shortcuts as well, your screen previews and such. So, I mean, it's really your choice which launcher you wanna use. So you've got a, a couple launcher options, which is always nice to have, um, always nice to have more launcher options. But let's go ahead and press menu, settings, scroll down, go to about phone. As you can see, it's Android version 4.0.4 .4 right there. Uh, build number IMM76D, it is AOKP build 32 right there. So. There you have it, you are on Android 4.0.4 .4 Ice Cream Sandwich. As you can see, nice uh, Ice Cream Sandwich overscroll glow, uh, nice theme to it as well. Let's go ahead and check up at the top of the status bar. You'll see you've got a nice blue clock up there. You got a nice blue battery icon as well. Um, blue signal bars, blue Wi-Fi icon. Let's go ahead and swipe on down. You'll see you've got uh, some toggles here. Those can be edited. I will go over that in a little bit. So you've got your nice toggles. You also have a settings button right here that'll basically toggle those settings. So if you don't like those there, just press this little button right here and they, and they toggle. So you can turn them on and off like so. So very nice there. The uh, status bar is semi-transparent. You can somewhat see through it but not fully transparent, obviously, but uh, very nice there. So obviously stock ice cream sandwich look look to that. Otherwise, you've got all your basic stock ice cream sandwich apps, your browser, calendar, camera, messaging. Um, I mean, you've got uh, basically the, the stock theme to it. You have the awesome ice cream sandwich keyboard, which I love. I really like this keyboard. It's probably by far my favorite keyboard on Android. Um, I, I mean, it's just really great. Um, very awesome word correction, etc. So there you have it there. Nice uh, messaging application. Uh, Dialer-wise, oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, but let's go ahead and go to the dialer. So go to phone. You'll see nice uh, ice cream sandwich dialer there. You can swipe through call logs and contacts. Um, so very nice there. You also have obviously your contacts. You got the Play Store, Google Talk. Um, it is rooted, so you have super user, of course. Um, it's pre-rooted. Let's go ahead and check out the camera. Camera works just fine. I mean, bug-wise, everything is pretty much working. There's there's really no bugs. Um, some things that uh, want to be mentioned, though, there are a couple. So, I mean, let's go ahead and take a picture real quick. So, nice picture there. Works very well. So, I mean, you got your picture, you got your panoramic mode and video camera as well. So you got all those little modes right there for camera. So camera works great, of course. Some some bugs, as I said, um, the toggles up here, there's a missing 4G and data toggle, so you're not gonna have that option, unfortunately. Um, auto roam settings do not save. I believe on a reboot, they will be reset, so keep that in mind. Um, the video, when you're video recording, uh, it doesn't allow for flashlight LED on while recording, so you can't have your LED constantly on while you're recording. Um, and that, that's really it. Uh, sometimes ROM control is gonna crash, I believe. Um, actually, no, they fixed that, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's really the only bugs. 4G works, of course, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, all of that is working. Uh, sometimes your ringer and sound, uh, notification sounds don't stick when you change them, so keep that in mind. You might have to go in and change them once more. Uh, after you change them the first time, but other than that, I mean, it's really, uh, really smooth, really, really fluid. I, I enjoy it very much. It, it runs very quick, especially on the Epic 4G. Um, but you'll see you got a ROM control right there. Uh, basically, you got all your ice cream sandwich settings, of course. So you got ROM control. Let's go ahead and go into it. So you've got ROM control, basically, which is AOKP's settings. Let's go to general UI. So you can disable your boot animation. If you saw my how-to video, you saw the boot animation being, um, you asked for super user access, just allow it. 
um, you, you'll notice it's a basically a pink unicorn. So if you don't like those uh, animations, you can change them. 180 degree rotation. Uh, you'll notice when I press and hold the home button, it takes us to recent apps running apps list. So you'll see that uh, basically that you have that list going on. Um, uh, so there you have it there. You can swipe away ones that you want to clear or exit out of. Um, that works very well. You also have the option to make it horizontal recent apps in the settings. So press and hold the home button and you'll see now they're horizontal as opposed to vertical. So you got that option which is great. You can just swipe up and down. Um, so overall very, very cool there that you have that option in AOKP. That's very nice that they added that for you. A um, couple other ones as well. Let's go at navigation bar will be the buttons just like on the Galaxy Nexus down here. So if you want to try those out, you can. Lock screen options, we have some lock screen options, your lock screen wallpaper, lock screen text color as well. Um, you can unlock the button with the menu button. So I believe once you turn the screen on, you press the menu button and it should unlock your device. Uh, you might have to toggle the, uh, the button. So, I mean, it says requires reboot too. So you might have to reboot your device and it'll work. Um, anyways, uh, you can have lock screen battery percentage. So always when it's locked, you'll see a battery percentage right there. I do like to have that on always. Um, just so I know what the battery percentage is at. Uh, you can have lock screen weather there, volume wake, so when you press volume buttons, the screen turns on. Volume music controls, lock screen calendar, um, enable fast torch right there, uh, horizontal lock screen, and uh, yeah. So I mean, overall you've got uh, a bunch of options. One I forgot to point out was lock screen style, one of the main ones, of course. You have a bunch of different styles for lock screens. So let's go ahead and select honeycomb first. So you got your honeycomb lock screen being basically your, your circle you drag outside your other circle. Looks like that's kind of laggy. The, the ripple effect is a little bit laggy. I remember on Epic 4G Touch, it, well, it was fluent, but this does feel a little laggy anyways, the ripples, which is understandable. You got a single core phone going on versus dual core, so uh, no big deal there, but I mean, it, it works great. So you also have a stock lock screen, of course, which is what we were on, where you got the camera shortcut along with unlock with your, your circle, so you got that. Whoops, and also you have quad octo, you have AOSP, which is basically the gingerbread one with sound and unlock. And you also have quad and octo. Quad and octo are basically the same thing. It allows you to have custom application shortcuts on the lock screen. So you'll see you got two empty slots here. So you scroll down and you'll see you got custom app one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and go to four and change it to SMS. So lock the screen and you'll see there's an SMS shortcut right there. You can change the order depending on what app you put in which custom slot. So they all mean something. So you'll have to play with that to get it just to your liking. So very nice that you can change those lock screens. Uh, power menu options, which is when you press and hold the power button, you got different options. You can have it show screenshot. You can have it be a torch toggle. And uh, so, I mean, you, you have all these options. So you got torch flashlights. I don't know if it works or not. It might not. So doesn't seem like the torch is working. Might have to play with that. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Uh, I didn't see anything about it. So maybe it just doesn't work in uh, the power menu. So you can play with that. I'm not gonna really mess around with it. Uh, you have weather options there. You have power saver LED options, uh, status bar options. So you get general status bar options. Uh, basically you can have auto hide toggles, enable brightness control on the in the status bar. You know, font size, transparency, and notification drawer layout as well. So you got all those options. You got the toggle option. So this is where you can change your toggles, enable toggles. Um, you can actually uh, change one. So if you want to add airplane mode, vibrate, silent, torch, sync, and swagger, you can turn them all on actually. You'll see that they all pop up right there. So you'll see they all popped up. So if I want to turn my swagger on, you can just turn it on and there you go. So you turned it on. Um, let's go ahead and see if torch works or not. It doesn't seem like the torch is working. Actually, I might have read that somewhere. The torch doesn't work, but uh, third party apps do work for the torch. So you might have to install that. So fortunately, there you go. You got toggle order as well. You can change your order of your, uh, your toggles which is nice. Um, you can actually change your style. You can have it be icons instead of text. So if you like the icons, which I kind of do, um, you've got uh, that option as well. So let's keep my swagger on. <laughs> um, <laughs> you also have clock options up at the top. You can change the location. You can actually put it to the center. If you like it in the center, um, you can put it there. Change your color as well. 
uh, battery. You got battery options. Um, you have basically text only. So you've got a text only letting you know what your battery percentage is. You get an icon with text, icon with centered text. You have circle mod. Basically battery percentage with a circle around it. And you can have hide. So the reason you would have hide is because you have a battery bar option. You can have it be status bar, top of nav bar, bottom of nav bar. I'm going to put it in my status bar. You'll see that bar pop up up at the top. That basically lets you know what your battery percentage is at. So I'm at like 90. So you'll see it's 90% full up at the top, which is great. You can have a charging animation, battery bar color, battery bar thickness. So you've got all those different options with your battery. Signal options, performance. Um, you have different performance settings, max CPU. You can't overclock with this kernel. You might have to install a custom kernel if you want to overclock. So you can change all those within the, uh, basically within the ROM itself, which is kind of nice for you guys. But anyways, that's, that's really about it. One more thing I did want to point out is let's say you wanted to go into your GPS settings, press and hold on the toggle actually, and it will take you directly into those settings. So if you guys did not know that, uh, pressing and holding on the toggle will actually take you into your settings for that uh, specific toggle, which is nice. So very nice there. Um, go to settings, system settings, and you'll see that uh, go to more. You got 4G settings. So 4G does work in case some of you were wondering about that. Uh, but if you go to your app drawer, you'll also go to your widgets and you'll see you got a 4G widget. So press and hold on that and drop it on your home screen. So you get a 4G widget instead of a toggle, which is really no big deal. So of course you got all your basically stack launcher options with your scrollable widgets along with your um, resizable widgets, some of them, not all of them, but uh, you'll see it's scrollable, pick it up, drop it back down and uh, you can hit resize. So you got resizing options there. You can make it bigger, smaller, etc. So you can create folders as well. So if I wanted to drop uh, an app on one another, you'll see it creates a folder. Just go straight into it and you got your folder. You can move your folders around. You can put them in your dock bar down at the bottom. So you'll see I've got different folders everywhere, which is great. Obviously a nice ice cream sandwich feature. Another ice cream sandwich feature is you can pull down the status bar while you're on your lock screen. So uh, if you got a quick notification when you, go, you want to go to, you can just do that real quick uh, straight from your lock screen, which is great. Uh, browser, you got your stock ice cream sandwich browser. You can use Chrome beta from, from the market if you'd like to, which I believe works very well on the Epic 4G. Um, but you'll see, um, I mean, it's very smooth, very fluent. Let's go ahead and go to acsyndicate.net right there. Let's go ahead and pop that in. I'm on Wi-Fi, so should load up decently fast and you'll see it does load right up and there you have it so acsyndicate.net running very smoothly with the stock ice cream sandwich browser so there you have it so you can go ahead and do that you can exit out of it if you want to go back to your launcher and there it is so that's really about it that's everything i wanted to show you guys there is no face unlock um, basically the epix front camera isn't good enough for face unlock so you don't have that option but that's really about everything i wanted to show you that's a full review of the aokp rom on your samsung epic 4g let me know what you think leave a comment on the video below be sure to subscribe to me follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all links will be in the description of the video below and as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up